Hi guys, Lando Assistant here, and here is our math problem for today. Let's begin with a quarter circle O with radii OA and OB. Let's locate a point C on OB and another point D on arc AB, and let's form this right angle CDA. The length of segment DC is given to be 7 units, and the length of segment AD is 24 units. We would like to find what is the measure of segment OC. You can pause the video and see if you can solve this math problem. Now let's solve this problem together. Let's begin by reflecting this quarter circle to the right side. Look closely as I reflect this quarter circle. Now since the right quarter circle is a reflection of the left quarter circle, let's label this point as A prime. Then notice that angle ADC is an inscribed angle and at the same time, a right angle. This implies that the arc intercepted by this right angle must be a 180 degree arc, which means that segment AA prime must be a diameter of circle O. So when we extend segment DC in the direction of C, we know that it will intersect A prime this way. Now let's connect point A to point C and form this right triangle ADC. We know that the length of this leg is 24 units and the length of this leg here is 7 units. And since the triangle is a right triangle, then we can now find the length of segment AC and that is equal to the square root of the sum of the squares of the two legs measuring 24 and 7. So computing for AC, we found that AC is equal to positive 25. Next, since the right quarter circle is a reflection of the left quarter circle, then segment AC and segment A prime C must be congruent. And since AC is 25 units, then A prime C must also be 25 units. Next, let's find the radius of this semicircle. Let's label radius OA as R and radius OA prime as R also. Then let's concentrate on the big right triangle ADA prime. We know that AD is equal to 24 units and CD is equal to 7 units and A prime C is 25 units which gives us the length of leg A prime D to be 32 units. Now since this triangle is a right triangle then we can use the Pythagorean formula again so we now have the length of the hypotenuse is 2R that is equal to the square root of the sum of the squares of the two legs measuring 24 units and 32 units. Then solving for 2R, we arrive at 2R equals positive 40. And solving for R, R is equal to 20. So the radius is 20 units. Now at this point, we are now ready to find the length of OC. Let's concentrate on the right triangle AOC. The measure of the hypotenuse is 25 units. The measure of one of the legs is 20 units we can now easily find the measure of the remaining leg. So using Pythagorean formula again, OC is equal to the square root of the difference between the squares of 25 and 20. And solving for OC, we found that OC is equal to 15 units. And so we now solve this problem. The length of OC is 15 units. And if you want to watch more videos like this, here is our recommended video. Thank you very much and we hope to see you again in our next video. Bye for now. This means that the arc intercepted by this 